Hello, welcome to your to Cancerians. Welcome to your horoscope for September 2021. Um, so we've got here, so we actually have Uranus that went into retrograde. Um, I'm recording this on the 22nd of August, so last Thursday actually went into retrograde. Um, uh, it'll be for a while. We do have um the 11th of September. Um, so September's gonna be a bit of a weird month. We're gonna have another square happening. It's happened so far twice this year. This is the third and final square. Um, it's probably going to cause some difficulties coming up. Um, or well, hopefully not some difficulties. Hopefully it will be a, a good shadow of our rea reality and a good thing, hopefully, for some of us. On the 11th of September, we've got Venus going into the, your fifth house. Um, so Venus is love and your fifth house is relationships. So it could be a good, good thing for new, um, meeting someone new. Um, could also be um, old relationships to, you know, form, um, to, you know, blossom more as well, get, get along with your partner more. On the 15th, you've got Mars is going to go to your fourth house, so that could be good, um, you know, for getting the house in order, um, having strength and family togetherness. But it also could be on the other side of that um, arguments and frustration too. Then on the 25th to the 10th of October, Mercury is going to be in retrograde and that's going to be in your fourth house. So, you know, communication might not be as great um, be, during that time. Um, be careful with your contracts, so selling houses might not be as best time to do that um, with the, in your fourth house with, with the retrograde. Be careful signing any contracts as well in negotiations. If you have to, you have to. Now, when we look at the card for you um, Cancerians, um, it's like you're, this month, it's like you're searching for something. Um, you know, it's going to be a bit of an emotional month, I feel, for you guys. But you're really trying to search for some clarity and some answers. This could be to do with like a situation that's been quite emotional for you. Um, or could even be around the home that's coming up here. Um, it, it's it's like you're, it's like it's around the home, like you're missing, you're missing something, you're missing somebody. And you're really wanting to um, heal the situation as well to do with the home. Um that's coming up for you as well. But at the same time, from the home, things are blossoming and are looking a bit better for you as well. Um, it could be maybe looking at moving, could be on the cards too this month. Um, there's also, I feel like, there's positive communication between you and your siblings this month too, Cancerians. It's like um, new beginnings, and it's almost like with the house situation, you, you wish you had listened to someone um the situation that you're in you, you should listen to someone got took their advice about it um as well like with your seeking it's like you're getting a bit frustrated there um when we look at also what's happening um so with relationships it's like you're you're doing all the work for someone who isn't there um and it's like this person has been in and out of their life or in and out and it's like they're not being positive but there's also a chance for love to blossom relationships to blossom as well but it's like they're uh, maybe like they're emotionally they're just not there for you or just not there um as well there's also a um a chance like you're trying to really trying to search for something like soul searching this month for you guys um cancerians as well there is a um there is a thing about maybe planning travel planning where you're gonna go so for wishing to go could be even like maybe you're planning like to, to go up to the it could even be like a balloon ride that you're planning on going on maybe if you're in australia like a short trip away like to the hunter um something like that there's like a bit of a bit about planning or looking at that thing it's about travel as well it's also a bit about i feel like um study when you're being very busy with your studying what you're studying or what you're going to do to study i feel like that's coming in as well and it's about looking about you know to do with like what you're studying about the past it could be something to do with history or the past but there's a lot of guidance there for you for those who are studying or looking at doing light work or dot light workers there is a lot of um guidance there for you from spirit from loved ones from angels that are around you this month they're all in there ready to work with you as well um let's look at your work what have we got here it's like things aren't particularly fair like there's new rules that are coming in and they're just not very fair 
um, but they're writing up new rules as well or they're writing up new contracts and new things there for work but it's like um, things won't be as they seem as well and you're going to really perhaps some even turn away from this situation that's going on so it's like you may be perhaps walking away from it in what they're trying to do and they can't even articulate the rules in a, in a correct way so what they're doing is like they're not articulating it they're not doing it it's not set in stone it's not done the right way with this as well um we look at money um Money, I feel like your finances will be need like like you'll be distributing. It's a change in finances, like you might be distributing in different like bank accounts or different different like places of putting things and storing things and storing it in a different way. It could be like invest different investments coming in for you for this month too, Cancerians. Um with the friends, I just feel like you're really ready to go out and have a good time, but at the same time you're feeling a bit lonely. Um, you really need to like be able to stretch and have fun and and go out, but it's but it's more about staying inside for this month for you. Um, and then we've got here, and I feel like this this month, like in terms of, it's like you're feeling a bit trapped. It seems like and so I say this is about your health, but it's like you're feeling a bit trapped. Um, but it's also about capturing your youth and knowing what you did in your past. It's only about your youth of being young again too. Okay, I know that makes sense, but I hope that you can relate to that. But the emotional, but, but having fun, it is about going out. Even though you feel trapped, I feel like you need to go out and spend more time. And But it's also about your youth, thinking about back to your youth, Cancerians. Okay, just see what else I can get for you. Let's see. Cancerians, you're waving goodbye to something old for something new to come in this month. Do not hesitate for those new rules coming into your workplace. They will not stand, not stand in court, and they will not stand where they're trying to push you in the direction that you're going. You're going into a new direction in life. You're going to be more stronger. Have more faith in yourself. You're building up your reputation to be a strong new Cancerian who doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve anymore where you have built um, a shield around it so you can then shield it and protect yourself from other things that, do not want that want to take your energy and absorb it. This month you're going to find that spirit is working with you into a new way, a new new beginning is coming up for you, Cancerians, where you can explore the world of the higher views and you'll be able to tell tell what you're wanting to do when you, when you want to do it at the point you want to do it as well, Cancerians. I give you a good day and I wish you the best for this month. Okay. Um so I'm still in lockdown in Sydney. They're saying now to the end of September. Um, probably not going to be the end of September. They are government. They're not telling us the truth. They're lying. But anyway, um, I will be doing more lives. So I do feel like people need um, that extra boost and that extra help. And I'm trying to give people as much hope as I possibly can um, with what's going on around the world. Because I do feel like everyone needs it at the moment. Um, if I would like a private reading with me, please book me and contact me on my socials. Um, all my readings are in Australian dollars. Um, and if you're overseas, I can simply just send you a PayPal invoice for payment. Um, and will be done by Zoom. And I'll send you the Zoom link. Um, and I just want to remind people at this time that it's very hard. And, you know, um, when you look past in the back in history where people have had to try to segregate people, or push something on something, push something on people that isn't quite right, right that has never worked out well for them. So um, don't lose hope, you know, where where hope, you know, I really hope that this Jupiter in Aquarius that's come back to it with this full moon that's, that's happening now in August um, is going to bring us some sort of hope. Um, and yeah, just please try and stay strong. But please um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, put notifications on so you do get notified when my lives are on so you can come on and ask questions if you want to reading. If you have any other questions, um, general questions, please put it in the comments and I'll address that in my next live too in September. Um, okay, so I'll see you guys for the next month for the horoscope. So bye for now.